Hello everybody. We'll be up in just a couple minutes if you can hear me. All right, I'm here, and Twitch is too. A little bit of a delay because Twitch went down just before seven, I guess. And uh, but here we are, and we'll get ready to go with tonight's class. Everybody, hear me? Okay, Twitch working okay? I'll wait for some type of response. Make sure everything's going good for you. Can you hear me now? Can you guys see me yet? Yep, good to go. Okay, thanks. All right, now that we're back and ready to go, before I get started, we'll give people time to get in here. I want to show you all what I've been doing today a little bit. And if you remember the Save Game Viewer program that I showed you guys earlier, uh, gave it out, exclamation point viewer, I think it is, if, for your copy. And basically it lets you go through and it organizes your save games. I'm going to just show you this real quick. You can uh, go through any of the save games that are in your folder and you will have your silo amounts which I shrunk down quite considerably. And apparently you guys cannot see this. Uh oh. Hold on just a minute. We're having more technical difficulties with everything. My OBS just went crappy on me. I think we got that. Let me uh, go over here real quick. Interesting. You can't see my little program. It's invisible. Aww. All right, well, we'll get back to that anyway, some other time. <laughs> Jeff, third channel. Yeah, issues. Issues, issues. Let me, uh... Do a couple quick things here. And then I'll be right with you. I gotta shut this down. And let me uh, run this and see if this shows up. Mm 
Rene Doc entered channel. Not at all. Alrighty, let's get over to the map class then. Things just are all wacky here. Anyway, things, some things not showing up, some things are. Reorder my scenes. That should be on my desktop. That's what's weird about it. Let me see. Where did it save it to? Yeah, it's weird. It's just not popping up correct. Everything, like, shuts down. Let me see real quick what happened with it. Monitor capture not quite working the way it's supposed to things aren't popping up on my screen but you can see that alright we'll go with this anyway we're back into map class land and we'll start here and if I get time later on and figure that out I'll show you all the new features I added into that little thing anyhow today if you remember last week we ran into some errors in the map and it would not load up and I found out it was a mistake I guess Giants made some changes on the way navigation meshes work so I had to back up a little bit and basically I wanted to just quickly go over that with you guys and if we go to the cow nav mesh zone let's see if we can find the cows under animals animals I know they're in here somewhere not in there lost again there we go animals cows husbandry cow nav mesh when we created a nav mesh before we ended up selecting the fence pieces and building the nav mesh mask on it by going into the collision mask and let's see shape build nav mesh mask basically in order to do it just reset that to zero and it works fine again when it was not set to zero is what the pieces that I had that were giving me an issue these here over here weren't an issue because I actually built this side of the nav mesh around them but don't mess with this nav mesh so it's under shape build nav mesh just hit the reset button and then OK and it'll set it back to normal and that will clear all the errors on the pieces that were in the way of your nav mesh so I'm not going to go through and rebuild all of this today but you can and then I also exported the barn again because I had to uh, get that off there because the navigation mesh still shows on that as well so after you export it you can import it back in without the mesh on it put it back into place and you'll be good to go just uh, turn off the nav mesh blocking on each of the individual pieces then they will still work that being said I'm gonna save here because we're gonna get into something a little bit different after we first we'll do a little bit more with the spline work that we were going over last week it will get a little bit of a vehicle spline going here alright we'll head over 
And the first thing I did is I have I moved my vehicle splines, traffic and pedestrian splines out of the folder that they were in just down to the bottom so I could find them easier for you. It really doesn't matter. It's just in the main directory and not in the all you need folder anymore. It's right at the bottom of the main directory. And you'll we'll have two splines in there and I deleted one so we can work at one at a time. Basically you only need one at a time. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this huge spline, highlight it node, and I'm going to shrink it down to make this easier to work with. We'll get a much smaller circle by removing some of the points and I'm just hitting the delete key to remove several of the points. by clicking on a point and it will move here I'm going to leave the start and end ones it'll move around the circle and take out some of the points so we have a much smaller starting circle here to work with and we'll add the points back in as we need them once you have that done make sure you highlight the whole spline again which is a tricky thing and we'll bring it down to the road level where the first part disappears anyway and you could see this was on a big hill so we're gonna have to do a lot of moving down and bring all the little nodes you have left down to the surface so they're about halfway in the surface and don't worry about if the lines disappear right now but you could see my nodes down to the surface just about halfway in get them all down there so we're on our flat surface to start with and you want to have your start and end points relatively close to each other so the vehicle can detect where to go now one thing they did not include in a 2015 version which we can try at some point is the Previously, in 2013, they had a box that you would have put for intersections, and I imagine if I export the box from 2013, it probably would work just the same. Again, when you're moving some of these down, they're going to be underground. So you just got to get under the terrain a little bit, look around, see where your next dot is, highlight it, and probably have to go around your circle a couple times to make sure everything's looking good because sometimes ones you move will affect the next one you move like right over here this one here is definitely down below the line we'll bring that back up now and you just basically want to get your starting shape pretty close to the ground level highlight the whole spline again I always click on traffic splines and then back to there so I'm not just highlighting a node and just moving a node but I can rotate my spline around get it a little bit closer to the road and then bring it up just a little so it's above the road level I could see it it's very tricky you can uh, also use smaller increments by Oops, it's not on. I don't know why these aren't on the Y axis, but anyhow. Get it close. Then starting with your first spline, which is at the S, which is for south. We'll move that one there. This is your second one. Basically want to get them lined up on your center line, which you've got to get a different viewpoint sometimes we're going to bring that one right over to the center line same way with this one the line at first is going to be a little bit crazy until we get all the splines in a row put that one over here now you can see that I'm taking a big bend the other way we're going to reverse this sucker to make it fun I'm going to put an insert mark insert we'll put another node we'll drag that up a little bit 
You just got to keep stretching your spline out. Get it on the road. And, yeah, I'll try a window capture on that program a little bit later. I wasn't prepared for that not to work. But it's pretty cool. I wanted to show you what I got done there. So after the show, if you stick around, we'll see if we can get that working. Okay. <laughs> Pizza's ready. <laughs> Anyhow, get your splines. Make sure they're just above the road level. And now we're going to have to bend this sucker the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my south end right here and delete backwards all the way. So that's my last one. Make it a lot easier to stretch myself out to the corner. And then use my insert key to start adding new ones from this point on. And sometimes if the yellow dots on top are the arrow, so you want to get these dragged over. And you can see I just moved the whole thing. We're going to move this back a little bit. It's all just about lining everything up. And if you lose your spline like I just did, re-highlight it. Got it on the road. Now we'll start adding new points to click on the last one in between. And start bending it around the corner. And with the corner, you just want to make it as smooth of a transition as possible so it doesn't look like the vehicle is running jagged on the road. If you see this end of the line start moving, just add extra points in. I hate working with splines, but it's a necessary evil if you want to have the moving vehicles on your offline maps. So I'm not going to go totally crazy here, but we're going to add some more points, move it up, bend it around the corner. Oh, they came down, if you heard my nephew there, pizza's ready. Yeah, well, they know better. My pizza will be cold. <laughs> And we'll keep on going. So yeah, tedious, time-consuming splines all the way around. Now I'll insert another node. And you got to work your way around the corner. If you get out too far, you want to pull up another node in between. Just go back, actually, and then you can uh, pull this one up. So you can see I got a pretty smooth corner right on the center line, right on the road height. And keep adding points. The curves are the toughest part. Straightaways you can run really long way without having to mess with anything. And I also have another thing I want to check today too, which is I don't know if things work the same way as in Oops, there was a spline right up there. That's why that one's... Grab this one. If things work the same way in 2013, now all the splines I've worked on have been circle loops, but in 2013 they didn't have to be connected back to the other end. You can p could put in an intersection or the vehicles would just disappear at the end of the road. So we'll find that out. I'm going to try a half a spline 
here and see if we have vehicles on the road yet or if we're going to actually have to complete the loop to see our cars. So we'll get a little bit more here because if it does I will bring in my intersection if it works and we'll do a straight road intersection and see how that comes out but if it doesn't thanks for the follow accord driver so we're gonna put a couple more in here get to the end of the road I'm kinda skipping more than I probably should cuz I don't wanna bore you to death with me placing all these little dots but we'll keep on going a little bit further and get it out of the way a little bit so I can grab the one underneath it or try to grab the one underneath it, there we go you can see just viewing it at a different angle makes everything go completely different looking and I hate that I have here I'm gonna delete that one again bring this one over bring the end one back a little bit insert another one you'll get the idea so we're gonna get to the end of the road here and I'm gonna load up and see if a half a spline works I'm not sure at all used to and what should happen is cars will appear on one end and disappear when I get to the other so let's see you can see I got it pretty close to the road we'll go out and check and see if we have cars that is if the game shows up on the screen make sure I have my proper folder selected map class folder find our save game this one looks like it will work yeah tell me about it that one is not working that must be the bugged out one from last week that is so weird so let's bring in another one or did I I probably still have the nav mesh on the darn barn didn't set reset that so we'll start a new one see what we have now the question is will there be vehicles appearing on the road it does not look like they are give them a few minutes to load in and if not we probably have to complete the circle but it doesn't look like you can do it with a partial one in 2015 and that's why they used all loops nothing coming in nothing going out all right let's finish up a circle I'm gonna do a quick circle so you're not watching paint dry by just going and insert let's put in a bunch of points dun 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 so I can take a quick turn the other way well maybe not that quick that's a little better
go right over the building and we're just gonna drive it again this is demo you're gonna wanna set up your whole thing probably a lot neater than this but I wanna finish this up so you're not watching paint dry and get a few more to make the turn well And a couple more in here. And we're not really, con I'm not really concerned with how bad the cars look driving on the other side. As long as it gets back on the road over here. Because it's just giving you a demo of what it looks like. You should not be driving on your lawns. Get your two end points close together. right there and now let's try and see if we can get a car to appear on that thing here's the fingers crossed Hello, cars, where are you? You're not supposed to be this difficult. Again, wait a couple minutes, make sure nothing's all wild and whack, but apparently something's out of whack. Let's see if there's any errors in the log. Road spline, dead end found at okay we got to join it apparently or it's not touching so let's go back into that oh yeah they're not touching they're nowhere near it So apparently you can't have dead ends. Now, one of the things I was talking about is that intersection box, which would probably fix the whole thing right here, but let's find out if this works. See if it's going to give me a dead end message. Yeah, I got two pieces that I copied that still have the fence error on it, so. But, I didn't see any. Oh, dead end found again. Let me try real quick. There's probably a way that you have to join them that I don't know about because I never had to do that. But I will bring in that junction box because I already have it saved here and see if it works. Under models, let's see. Under where 
where did it go? Map class map. Models. Buildings. Not under buildings. Objects. I know I put it in here somewhere. But if it's not there, what we do is find it. Let's see, let's see, where did we go? I know it's in here somewhere. There it is, right there, map, uh, all right. Import. not there. Now the purpose in uh, the last one was in 2013 was to fix these. You would just bring in a junction box trigger and f where your junction ended all you needed to do is put a box which would join the traffic so you could actually do uh, send the traffic in other directions is basically your intersection box and it's big but if we look at our spline the box is covered let's see if that works I didn't miss a long a node along the way. You could have as many nodes as you would like to make it nice and smooth. Let's see if the junction boxes from the last version work and probably nope. Dead end found at 198 214 and that is going to be that node apparently they have to be linked somehow and I will find that out in just a second because these junction boxes don't work either and it's this node right here and perhaps there's an easier way to get these touching probably by going shift control C Here, move that out of the way. Is that giving me the node update? No, it is not. The angle on these things is just impossible to tell if you're touching or not. You got to look at it all the way around. See that? Shift to one side and look at the space in that sucker. <laughs> Hang on just a minute. I'm going to try something. When in doubt, 
let's relook up in the old directory here. Cheating. Cheating library. Anybody has this book? Farming Simulator for Dummies. It's a good resource for some things, but not a lot. Let's see what they have to say. Yeah, well, we know where the error is. But it's supposed to... Let's see if we can find a close spline. Yeah, like I said. It's nice enough to let you know <laughs> where the spline isn't closed, but uh, it doesn't tell you an easy way to close them. Nope. That's all they're going to tell you about errors. nothing else so I guess you just gotta try to get that node on top of the other one to close the spline there's problem I'm having is you can't get the coordinates of the silly spline nodes And you can see, you look at it from one point. Let's do a... Nope, that didn't do it. Undo that. Get it on the road first, and then get the next one and try to put it on top of it. I hate these things. Did I already mention I hated these things? I don't think we're going to get any closer to it than that. They appear to be touching. TMI Twitch TV reconnect. What the heck is that supposed to mean? Twitch go down again? better not give me that stupid error this time or I'm giving up. Those I know about. I didn't get it. That I could see. I got the fence ones which I'm aware of. But I do not see the spline issue, so where the heck are my vehicles? Uh-oh. 
Houston, we have an issue. That is weird. The uh, Twitch says that it's uh, acting up over here. It's probably sick of looking at me trying to fix this spline, but I don't have the error now. And uh, let me get rid of the mesh errors real quick. See if that's causing any issues. I know what caused those, and that's set real quickly the stupid barn and the fence piece that I moved back into place. I hate splines, but thanks for the follow. I see that guy come up again. Only one thing worse than saying somebody's boring. If you're bored, then you should be somewhere else. We are working on a couple things here. And I'm not getting my traffic. And it's pissing me off. <laughs> but I don't have that closed mesh error anymore. That's what's weird. I still got one more of those other ones there. I don't think I have any other fence today I had a problem with. Yeah, Twitch has been off and on tonight, so we'll get through it. And so am I off and on tonight with these uh, mesh splines, apparently. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I don't have a clue. I have an error-free file, so I should have vehicles driving around on here by now. Yet I don't see them. Give them a couple more minutes, just a minute to load in. Vehicles do sometimes take a little bit to get in there. And populate the very little spline on the map. But apparently we're having issues with splines. There it is. Finally. It's just taking some time for the cars to load in. They're going across the parking lot. No issues. All right. So you got your spline. They should be swinging around and getting on the road now. Just got to, I guess, make sure those endpoints are touching really well. And they'll zip back around, and they will get on the road here, as you can see. As long as your spline is down close to the road, if they're floating, your nodes are a little bit too high. Yay, we have cars. And they're going down the middle, so I put it right on the center line. If you're going to have two-way traffic, you want to put a spline on one side of the road, and you're going to put a 
put another one on the other side or there's actually a way to uh, indicate two-way traffic as well within the map we'll have to get to that at some point but there you go we have cars and I have no chat anymore just two cars uh, there's actually traffic setting system in which is a good point there's only two cars on this spline but somewhere and let me see if I can find it real quick in your game settings you would go to computer C program files farming simulator 2015 let's see if it's in a game XML no 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 it is in one of these XML files uh, let's see if it's in this one nope that's all your 110 information let's see it's probably in your C documents my games it's been so long since I looked for this farming simulator game settings XML and you have your traffic enabled true career start save game one there is a way to and it's not even in there default third interval there is a setting in there. I'll have to find out what that is for you guys, but there is a way to uh, put the game traffic setting. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's, uh, and it will increase the uh, amount of traffic that's actually on your map. Two cars for that short spline. Actually, was it right there? Language, time scale, revision use miles money nope it's not in there but there is a place where you can actually change the amount of traffic that is on your map I am going to really quickly see if I can do a quick program thing seeing as we're running out of time already because of all the issues I'm going to add a Let's get my save game viewer up here and see if I could do a monitor capture of that this time. Or window capture. Damp. Disconnected. Add that to... here all right let's move that down just a real little bit real quick so I was showing you this earlier we'll finish up with this here the save game viewer program that I've been working on I imagine you guys could see that now basically what it does is like I was saying before you scan through any map in your save game files and it will tell you a little bit about your save game now with uh, you can get your silo amounts you can also check your weather forecast that's coming up in your save game but I'm adding in a feature whereas if you had the PV 15 version 2 map you will see up here we have a new PV 15 2 factories and this is where I've been working on today all the factories are in the list I have some of them working but basically you will be able to with this program click on black cat bird seed and it'll tell you in your la latest save game exactly all the uh, stuff that's in each of the factories so board and dairy is right there tells you how much milk salt water and cheese is at the dairy we do have cogent ready 
power and coal, wood chips, resin paper boards, Don's Pizza, FM Textiles done, and some of these are not done yet, but they're getting there. All the ones that are buildable factories are not quite there yet. And that's because they take a little bit longer to pull up the data as to far as to how far, what stage the factory's in. I ha am, have started on that though. You can easily go to the factories, and for instance, Lafarge doesn't have any information here because it's already built and I haven't finished the form yet. But if I go to Save Game 8 and I go to Lafarge, you'll see that I do have the foundation completion level and project completion pop up because they're both at zero. This will now, will this work on multiplayer? What I'm working on is a version, and you'll see it even in the version that I already released, there's a PV15 live version. It's going to require you to copy your uh, save game files to a shared folder like in Dropbox, and I will have this set up so you can do that with this if you can get the program on your server, which we will be able to. Then that's what that button there will be for. You'll select the save game folder you're using and the folder location where you're going to get the files from. And then you'll be able to share this program with everybody that's on your server as long as the server has a copy of it running to copy the files into a public area. Currently you also can go into server mode with this enter an FPT address if you have FTP password pa password <laughs> FTP access to your server you can put this to connect directly to your server files as well by using the FTP address username and password selecting it and then logging in so yeah you will have some server ability built in but right now it is currently just actually the that FTP access under server mode will work right now in the current version but current version only has the silo amounts and the weather forecast and all the extra stuff is going to be built in if you're using the PV15 version 2 map so there you go something a little bit extra Notice it skips numbers. If you don't have a save game in the slot, it will not pull up the information. Here's the sample mod map information. Tells you lots of stuff that's going on. And I, that will be very complete when it's done. And I don't know if Twitch is down again. You have to check with your server company if they have an FTP address capability. Some of them won't allow you to have FTP access. I know we did get it on uh, one of our servers. Maybe Jeff's still listening out there. He could uh, chime in and let you know or we'll ask him later. Because right now he's going to be coming up with his mod class and hopefully his goes a little bit better than my splines. <laughs> but we did get cars running. So join Big Daddy next on his stream. B-I-G-D-A-D-Y-0-1-2-6-7-8. Right there. And you will be able to uh, follow him. And that's going to be it for me. And I don't know why the heck my Twitch chat went down again. Yeah, very games, that's it. I lost connection there. So very games allows you FTP access. I don't know about the other servers, but this program can connect via FTP if you have the username and password and all that. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for coming along and watching me struggle through splines, which I'm glad that's passed because those are the things I can't stand. <laughs> 
Splines and navigation meshes are a pain in the butt. But if you have trouble, we can work it out. Just uh, send a message in the forums. And Big Daddy's up next on his channel. I will be hosting him, but you could jump over there and give him a follow if you're new. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks very much for watching.